Hey, welcome back. In this video, we are talking about matrix addition, scalar multiplication of matrices, and uh, what's kind of known as matrix subtraction, which is basically just a form of matrix addition. But um, yeah, let's jump right into scalar multiplication first. So if you have a matrix, let's call it capital letter A, and uh, let's say that for this example, we have a two by two matrix with the elements A, B, D, and E. All right, um, this works for matrices of any size. Uh, they don't have to be square. They can be M by N, whatever you wanna put in there. Um, but for this example, we're just gonna do two by two. So when we have scalar multiplication, basically that means we're multiplying a scalar, let's call it C, to the matrix. So we can modify the right-hand side as well to have C there. And this works exactly the same way as vector scalar multiplication goes, where basically you multiply every single element by that scalar. So really, you can expand this out, and we just get C times the first element, and C with the scalar times the other element. We just get C times every element. So let's do an actual example. It's pretty simple. Um, let's say that we have our matrix A is actually going to be, uh, let's put in some numbers here. Let's say we have one, two, a half, and three. And let's say that our scalar is two. So really we just multiply this through uh, element wise. And then the final answer here for the scalar multiple of two times our matrix would just be this new matrix where we have two, four, one, and six. So if this one was A, then this would be 2A. All right, not too hard, right? So let's move on to matrix addition. So if we have a matrix, let's call it uh, matrix B, and uh, matrix B is an M by N matrix, then we can have this plus another matrix, let's call this ABC, and C is an M by N matrix. As long as they have the same number of rows and the same number of columns, then we can add them together. So again, let's do an example with two by two matrices. So we have, uh, let's say these elements are A, B, C, D for matrix B. And then we wanna add this to this other two by two matrix. Um, let's say that this is E, F, GH. All right, when we compute this, basically it is, again, it's kind of element wise. We just take the first element the, in the first row and the first column and uh, add those together from each matrix. So then the, the solution matrix basically is just going to be the first element will be A plus E. The next element over here will be B plus F. Uh, the second row and first column element will be C plus G and then D plus H, right? So again, we're doing this element-wise and uh, nothing too surprising here. So if we actually just run through an example, um, let's attach some numbers to this. Let's say this is one, two, three, four. And then uh, matrix C, let's say this is five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so when we go do the addition of these two matrices, again, we just add the first element in the top right corner. So this is going to be one plus five. This element is going to be two plus six. This element is going to be three plus seven. And this element is going to be four plus eight. So the final answer of uh, the matrix addition of B plus C is just going to be, well, this is six. This element is eight. This one is 10 and this one is 12. Now there's a few comments that you always have to make when first introducing uh, matrix addition, and that is uh, talking about the zero matrix. So if we have a matrix A plus the zero matrix, um, then that is going to be equal to A. So in, for example, again, using a two by two matrix, if we had um, this matrix here, we had, let's say A, B, C, D, plus the zero matrix, which has to be the exact same size, so it would be zero, 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 then obviously this is just going to still be equal to A, which is A, B, C, D. That's just an important property of matrices. And then again, uh, talking about undefined uh, solutions to matrix addition, if we had 
uh, it, let's say, let's change colors here. If we had this matrix, it's like a two by two matrix. Let's say it's like two, one, three, four. And then we try to add it to a matrix that's not a two by two. Let's say one, two, three, four, four, eight, something like that. This is a two by three matrix uh, that we're adding to a two by two matrix. Uh, basically, there is no solution to this, so we say that this uh, basically just the solution does not exist. Again, if you were trying to add like a two by three plus a three by two or anything that's not exactly the same number of rows and columns, you can't do it element wise because this one has an element that's in the first row and third column, and this one doesn't, so we can't basically generate a solution to that. All right, and the last thing that I want to talk about in this video is matrix subtraction. So if you have a matrix, let's say you have a matrix A, and you have you want to do A minus matrix A minus matrix B. Well, really, this operates the same way as uh, vector subtraction, which is really just taking the scalar multiple of one of these with negative one and then adding them together. So really, what we what we're technically doing when we subtract matrices is we we convert this statement to be a plus this the scalar multiple of negative one times b. So if we have matrix A, let's do this again with two by two matrices. It'll have the elements a, b, c, d, and uh, so that that's matrix A. And then for matrix B, let's just say it's e, f, g. H, another two by two matrix. Again, because this is technically scalar addition, they have to be the same size. So let's call this matrix B. So if we want to do matrix A minus matrix B, what we do, the way that we set this up is we take matrix A, A, B, C, D. Then we add the negative of matrix B. So really this is plus, you know, the scalar multiple of negative one times this matrix E, F, G, H. And when we distribute this in, basically we get the expression that is matrix A plus matrix B, but now all of the individual elements are the negatives of what they originally started as. So negative E, negative F, negative G, and negative H. And ultimately we'll get the final kind of solution matrix of the, the difference between matrix A and matrix B as uh, each component will be A minus E. The next component will be B minus F. This component will be C minus G. And this one will be D minus H. So it's kind of a long roundabout way to do this, but technically this is how we do the operation in linear algebra. So if we make uh, an example here just to just to visualize it, let's say that matrix A has the elements 1, 2, 3, 4, and that matrix B has the elements of uh, 5, 6, 7, 8. 5, 6, 7, 8. All right. So the matrix A would stay the same. So 1, 2, 3, 4. And then uh, matrix B here, once we uh, distribute this negative 1 in through scalar multiplication, we get negative 5, negative 6, negative 7, and negative 8. So element-wise, this, uh, this matrix addition, we have uh, 1 minus 5, 2 minus 6, 3 minus 7, and 4 minus 8. And then the actual final elements of the difference between matrix A and matrix B, or the matrix subtraction as we call it. Oh, 1 minus 5, this is going to be negative 4. 2 minus 6, that's going to be negative 4. 3 minus 7, that's negative 4. And 4 minus 8, that is negative 4. So there you go. That is the proper way to carry out matrix subtraction. And then we also talked about matrix addition and scalar multiplication. So cool, guys. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.